Hey, YouTube family, man. The truth is, them boys should have learned after King Von's death. I can say a whole lot of other devs they should have learned from, but the most recent one that should have made them boys be on their P's and Q's was Von's death. Y'all got comfortable. D thing, rest in peace to you, man. This ain't no hatred. This is all love. Remember, when somebody's telling the truth about a situation, everything ain't always got to be he dissing, he dissing. I ain't dissing. If I tell y'all I ain't dissing, we ain't trying to hear from none of you trolls no more because you don't know nobody involved in the video I'm speaking about. Hop your goofy tail off, gang. We trying to make this message go around to the real ones who want to grow up and raise their kids, who want to play with their families and, and, and love them for every type ish, bro. We ain't trying to talk to you fake gangsters in the comment sections, you fake gangsters who want to have a voice, so now you want to say something, sit your ass back and listen to a real one speak. Listen right quick, let me take a swig. First of all, blessings and rest in peace to deep thing. Rest in peace to D thing, man. Second of all, I ain't gonna be fake over here. You should have learned from King Von's death, and not just the little Dirk I'm talking about. We do know OTF ain't ran by little Dirk only. OTF the music might be ran by Dirk, and even that I don't know. Only the family got them real steppers and them real people who been made that a movement. It ain't just Dirk. A lot of y'all don't know that. That's why I've been getting a lot of respect from the Chicago folks in them, because I give proper respect. I ain't DJ Wackademics. You know what I mean? OTF stands for something. It's been here way longer than this music shit that y'all keep thinking what it is. When they tell y'all them twins made OTF and being bringing other names, Varnell and everybody else, man, these are facts. These are facts. Now let's stick to the facts. All them boys in the clique should have been on their P's and Q's. All them guys. But the limelight, the limelight get motherfuckers hypnotized. And it trick you out your position, bro. That limelight get you comfortable, bro. You you chilling with these out-of-towners. You chilling with other industry rappers. You forgetting about how very real it is, bro. The trail of tears was going for the Native Americans they used to leave. But I got a new thing. When you look at our people, bro, I don't care. It ain't just Chicago. It's everywhere, bro. There's a big trail of tears that we leave behind. And best believe them trails of tears come back to get y'all. Look, y'all, before we continue with this video, man, I want y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and come rock out with the most winningest team. You know what I'm saying? Out here on this thing right quick. Also, y'all, look and support. Go to DJ underscore bless one. Let's start the show. See, man, you got to understand, man. You lose a key figure like King Von, and we know income, everything you guys lost. Of course, when your rapper dies, it brings more money here and there, but the relevancy that y'all was getting with Von, that's a big L, gang. Sort of like when Duck died. Rest in peace to Duck. That karma is better suited for those who didn't want Duck to rest in peace. It always comes back around when you laughing at somebody else's demise, man. When you blackballing people that's not called for, everything in the trajectory start coming back, bro. People are angry out here. You got to know it's a shark infested pool, bro. Dudes is waiting to get they bite. Point blank, period. All I'm saying is niggas get scared to just sit down. Niggas think they ain't cool no more if they sit down. Folks and I'm going to say you scared. But if you a target like that, learn to play it cool. I'm not saying stay in the house all day. I don't stay in the house all day, and I know folks in them allegedly be looking for me and this and that. I don't stay all day, but God damn it, I move different. I ain't thinking about Tisha and them and, and Kyrie and them down the street laughing at me because I ain't that nigga, this and that nigga. I'm always that nigga, and you can't take it away from me. They can't take it away from y'all. Stop living for people in them folks. Stop living for people in them folks, bruh. That situation is an eerie situation, and you see niggas being backdoored, niggas being tricked out of their position like nonstop. You see you can't trust nobody out here, but what you do, you go hang out in this club party already. This ain't no clubathon, it's a blickathon right now. Facts. This ain't no clubathon, gang. It's a blickathon. And they looking for each and every single one of you niggas like y'all a trophy. Just like allegedly y'all might be looking for the so-called ops like it's a trophy. 
You don't care who you catch. So long as you catch somebody, that's it. And when you do all this dissing, you do all this back and forth dissing on the videos and the things, it is like shots being fired. Big facts. It's worse than the actual shot being fired because the whole world know. It's already bad enough. You got to prove yourself to your own guys, to your own neighborhood, your own city. Now you got the whole world looking at your beef and the whole world want to see you do something. They want to see you do something, bro. Niggas don't want to hear all that. Oh, oh, we trying to make a piece. Oh, when Duck did a Chicago legend. These, these rowdy, rowdy folks don't want to hear all that. They want to see y'all do the dumb shit. They want to see y'all crash. Educational purpose. And then when the crash happens, they, they, they say their BS. And then they forget about y'all. And they go on to the next rapper. Big facts. How the hell didn't you learn from King Von? It's all is in my head, bro. How you niggas don't know the world is not a fair place? This jungle gets back like a snake, bro, like venom, and it poisons you back. King Von's situation should have never happened. People can get mad and say this and that. I don't care what y'all say. It was way too much there, and I mean, too much people there that should have calmed that man down, even get in a fight with Von to make him stop. I've been in a fight with my homies. I've seen this too many times. We try to stop them from doing something stupid, like either fighting a cop or fighting certain ops who are outnumbering us, and we have to hold them down or maybe put the paws on them to get them to stop. It's all I'm saying, man. Life is vital and important. Who is going to be the one to do it? Who is going to be the one to stop that significantly make that change? I don't know, gang. I don't know. Folks don't like doing this a lot. That's what I'm seeing. I ain't seen nothing real no more. Everything is an image. Everything is what make you look good in front of the next man that don't even give a fuck about you. It's an image you got to portray to people who don't worry about you when they turn the camera off, when they turn the, the, the TVs off, when they turn the internets off, whatever social media platform apps you're using. When these things go off, these people go back to their normal life. They don't worry about you and me and anybody else. And I don't blame them. In this world is self-preservation by any means necessary. And by any means necessary, if you have to stay home, that's you enacting by any means necessary. That's you using that in the perfect way. By you telling, nah, I don't want to chill with the gang today, man. That's you doing it the right way. And if you don't want to chill with the gang today, but other members of the gangs are going out to the club, then you just can't chill home. You have to go to them and force them to be home. If not, at least all of y'all be together to protect each other. Be together at least to protect each other. You know what's out there in them streets. You know they're waiting for you to cross them streets and educational purpose for you to get hit. They waiting for it. It's like seeing a, a little dog. When you go into school, you see that dog crossing the street, playing around in the street. The major high, major road, the dog just running back and forth, running back and forth. It's not if. It's when is the car going to hit this dog. You know it's going to happen. And when it happens, none of us even look when the dog gets hit. We just walk away. We don't even go check on it because we know this story. And we've seen this story before. We've seen this story before. Rest in peace to D-Thing and Vaughn and prayers and heart is with the family. Of D thing family and little dirt and your father. I I know y'all hurting and y'all mother, all of that, bro. This ain't a video to diss nobody. It's a video to keep it real and true with y'all, man. It's not funny. And if I don't do a video like this and another rapper dies, you same folks will probably be criticizing me. We'll do the same bullshit to the next rapper. We've seen this story before. I hear all y'all rah rahs already. It don't work here, man. This ain't y'all talking to y'all little bros in them and y'all little nice comfort homes in them. This is a guy that's been through what these dudes been through. I know that's a pain you did not need because you're already going through pain of coming from them blocks and all that. Now you got to add this bullshit to you. It's pain after pain. You can hear the voice of King Von's uncle. I don't know how he get down with you, Dirk, but he clearly letting it be cemented that I don't give a fuck. Dirk ain't paying for me. Dirk ain't doing this. I don't know what happened between you and this guy. But this guy's letting y'all know this ain't going down like that. Letting y'all know, man. Range Rover is talking from his chest to put it out there, bruh. I don't got no hatred from y'all, but you ain't the ones who made me. You ain't the ones who can speak for me, bro. And I think Dirk need to look at a lot of situations more clearly, bro. And I don't know if it is the guys that's hyping you up to do these little, you know what I'm saying? He can't come back to his hood, huh? Like all this extra, bruh. I feel like just fall back. Like, like King Von Uncle say, bro, just take a break with the dissing, gang. Take a goddamn break with the dissing. Shit. 
When is enough enough? Just like Mama Doug said, this is going to be a trend now. When is it enough? Y'all check out my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one. Salute to everybody watching the video. Make sure you hit that like, share, comment, and subscribe. And come rock out with the most winningest team right now. I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute, gang.